Our top story now and Prime Minister Narendra Modi was on tour of Telangana and Odisha today where he launched several projects. Now during a rally, he once again hit out at dynastic politics using the term Parivarvadis or dynastics. He said dynastic politics tried to ruin the country and on the opposition's jibe that he does not have any family. He said they forget that 140 crore are my family as he recounted several achievements of the government. परिवार वादियों ने देश की खदाने बेची महंगी जमीने बेची आकाश बेचा देश को बर्बाद करने में कोई कसर नहीं छोड़ी बोखलाए हुए ये लोग मेरा परिवार ना होने की बात उठा रहे हैं ये भूल रहे हैं एक सौ चालीस करोड़ देशवासी एक सौ चालीस करोड़ देशवासी ये मोदी का परिवार है ये फर्क है इन परिवारवादियों ने अपने परिवार के लिए कोठियां बनाई अपने परिवार के लिए महल बनवाए शीश महल बनवाए मोदी ने आज तक अपने लिए भी एक घर तक नहीं बनाया जितना प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी वंस अगेन अटैक ओपोजिशन पार्टी ओवर अलेज नेपोटिज्म एंड फैमिली रूल सेइंग यंगस्टर्स वर बीइंग डिनाइड अपॉर्चुनिटी बिकॉज फैमिली इंटरेस्ट डोमिनेटेड मैंने तो देखे हैं ऐसे मुख्यमंत्री उनके एक ही परिवार के निकट के एक ही कुटुंब के पचास पचास लोग उच्च पदों पर उस राज्य में विराज बैग हो जाते हैं। 50 साल से कम आयु वाले किसी व्यक्ति को आगे नहीं देते आने देते और किसी को बिठाना पड़े तो किसको बिठाएंगे 75 साल वाले को ले आएंगे 80 साल वाले को ले आएंगे 85 ईयर वाले को लाकर के बिठा देंगे तेलंगाना ही सेट है टर्न इन टू एन ए टी एम फॉर द कांग्रेस एंड सेट द बी आर एस एंड कांग्रेस वेर गिविंग फायर कावर टू ईच अदर प्रोटेक्टिंग ईच अदर मिसडीज कांग्रेस पार्टी ने तेलंगाना को अपना नया एटीएम बना लिया है आप देखिए बीआरएस के लोगों ने कालेश्वरम घोटाला करके किसानों से करोड़ रुपए लूटे लूटे के नहीं लूटे लूटे के नहीं लूटे लेकिन अब कांग्रेस क्या कर रही है भाई चुप बैठी है ये लोग बीआरएस के घोटालों की जांच तक नहीं करा रहे हैं ऊपर से फाइलें खोज खोज करके दबा रहे हैं घोटाला बंदर है उनका क्योंकि मोदी सरकार में सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक भी होती है और एयर स्ट्राइक भी होती है Day two of PM's Telangana tour started with a visit to the 200-year-old Ujjaini Mahakali Temple in Sikandarabad. Harati hone tak ek kanch hone pura meditation karte hue hi Mata Ji ka dhyan kara hai hone. The Prime Minister said he had spent his salary and auctioned all gifts he received to raise money for public good, unlike the opposition parties for whom family interest is above everything else. In Hyderabad, the camera person Nagraju Umasuri in the TV. Well, let's shift focus to Maharashtra now and seat sharing talks in uh, both the NDA and opposition MVA. Home Minister Amit Shah is on a two day visit to Maharashtra and after his public programs, he will be meeting the Chief Minister Shinde and his deputy. Sources say the BJP wants more of a share in the state, while the Congress core committee is al also meeting today. Reports suggest they too want to push for more seats. For more, let's go across to Radhika uh, Ramaswamy. Radhika, give us the latest. Uh, when is that meeting? Uh, uh, you know, the Home Minister uh, along with the chief minister of the state and also what of the congress meeting 
That's right. Two meetings taking place today. One is a Congress core committee meeting that started uh, this morning and it's continuing today as uh, we speak. Uh, at this point, Nana Patole is uh, heading this meet and several top Congress leaders are there. They're obviously ironing out differences as far as seat sharing is concerned. But uh, Congress leaders very confident that uh, they will be uh, fighting in 19, at least about 18 to 19 seats in Maharashtra. Same number is what uh, Sena is also looking at and about 10 as far as NCP is concerned within M. VA. And there is the VBA equation where uh, uh, Vanjit Bhajan uh, Ghadi party is uh, looking at five to six seats, but they may not get that many seats. So there is going to be more meetings that will happen uh, within MVA in the days to come. But when we spoke to some senior Congress leaders here, they say that there is no friction. Uh, it is all sorted. Perhaps in a few seats, they are still deciding whether Congress will fight or whether Sena will fight. But these are very crucial seats. So no announcement, no official announcements uh, have been made so far. But uh, they claim that it is within uh, Mah uh, Mahayuti, uh, the ND alliance, that uh, uh, problems uh, are existing and not within MVA. Now, uh, looking at uh, NDA, of course, uh at this point, uh, Home Minister Amit Shah is on a Maharashtra tour. He has uh, uh, visited several uh, areas within Marathwada as well as Vidarbha. Now, uh, he will be arriving in Mumbai in a couple of hours. He will be having that crucial talk with the CM as well as Deputy CMs. More problems within NDA uh, because what we are hearing is that uh, BJP wants 30 seats. BJP is bargaining hard. At the same time, Shinde Sena also bargaining hard. They want 22 seats. So, uh, the total number of seats is uh, 48 in Maharashtra and NCP about 10 seats as well. Right. They are looking at 10 seats. So uh, how this equation will be worked out because both Sena, Shinde Sena as well as BJP's uh, bargaining are uh, very hard. Shinde Sena stating that they had fought for uh, 22 seats the last time when uh, Sena was united. Uh, BJP of course is the big brother therefore they want 30 seats. How these uh, differences will be ironed out that remains to be seen but crucial meeting today. Uh, right. uh, headed by Amit Shah and of course the MVA meeting al also happening uh, today and in the coming days also we can uh, right. uh, uh, you know expect hectic parlays. All right, thanks so much Radhika for joining us with all those developments. Now a dinner that ended in a nightmare in Gurugram after five uh, customers were served dry ice as mouth freshener after their meal dry ice which is solid carbon dioxide can be fatal. It left the customers spitting out blood. They had to be rushed to a hospital. Now the restaurant says it was an inadvertent mistake by a waiter. The manager has been arrested. NDTV's Ishika Verma reports. Horror at this Gurugram cafe where five diners started throwing up blood and reported a burning sensation in their mouths after eating mouth freshener after their meal at the La Forrester cafe on March 2nd. Shockingly, initial investigations have found that they were given dry ice as mouth freshener. After the video went viral, the manager of the restaurant has been arrested and a case has been filed against the restaurant owner and staff. Now dry ice is the cooled and condensed form of gas carbon dioxide which can lead to cold burns and suffocation if consumed by accident. So far, officials have been unable to establish the exact sequence of events that led to the restaurant server offering dry ice to customers instead of regular mouth freshener. We are giving SOCAS notice. We have asked for the certificates of FOSCOS. We have asked for the certificates of restaurants in Gurugaon. We are driving very quickly. We are driving from yesterday. We are driving from all restaurants ka inspection or sampling ki jayegi. A court has now sent the accused restaurant manager to a 14-day judicial custody. But this one incident has generated angry reaction from across the country. Now in Girugram with Khan and Patra, this is Ishika Verma for NDTV.
Justice Abhijit Ganguly, a Calcutta High Court judge who's had several run-ins with the Trinamool Congress and lawyers as well, was even pulled up by the Supreme Court a few months ago. Today, quit as a judge of the High Court and then announced he will be joining the BJP in two days. The Trinamool hit out over a devil in the judiciary, but his decision has reignited a debate on post-retirement actions of judges and propriety. <laughs> Justice Abhijit Ganguly resigning as a judge of the Calcutta High Court and announcing his political plunge. Sources say Justice Ganguly is likely to be the BJP candidate from the Tamluk seat for the 2024 Lok Sabha elections. Justice Ganguly has often been in the news for his dramatic court orders. He has had run-ins with advocates and even judges of the High Court. He was also pulled up by the Supreme Court for an interview to a local news channel on a case he was hearing after TMC's Abhishek Banerjee moved the Supreme Court. When asked about who approached him to join politics, he was non-committal. But Justice Ganguly hit out at the Trinamool Congress, Mamata Banerjee, Abhishek Banerjee and even the Congress and CPIM. If it is their culture to attack one judge or the judgment instead of attacking the judgment, then they will do it. They, they have... They, they have... They have... Uh, brought this fashion recently to attack a judge. The BJP welcomed Justice Abhijit Gangopadhyay's decision. The Trinamul Congress says he was in talks with the BJP while functioning as a judge of the High Court. He was a devil in the judiciary. He was a black sheep in the judiciary. He was a political corrupt judge in the judiciary. Justice Ganguly's announcement of his decision to move from the branch to the political arena has ignited a fresh debate. The Trinamool says, we told you so, and questioned his impartiality while functioning as a judge of the Calcutta High Court. But even before the elections have been announced, Justice Ganguly's announcement has led to a fresh showdown between him and the ruling Trinamool Congress in West Bengal. With camera person G.D. Shankar in Kolkata, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV. A massive breakthrough in the Rajasthan police exam paper leak case after the police arrested Jagdish Bishnoi on the 29th of March, known as Guru, ironically. He was the alleged kingpin in the cheating mafia. His disclosure has now led to the arrest of 15 trainee policemen from the prestigious Rajasthan Police Academy, and this includes the topper of the exam in 2021. Our Chief Minister Bhajan Lal has also tweeted that his government is committed to getting to the bottom of the paper leak mafia. So big breakthrough in those investigations. India has issued an advisory to the Indian nationals living in Israel to relocate to safer areas. This after a man from Kerala was killed and two others injured in an anti-tank missile strike on a farm in North Israel. Uh, the embassy statement said in view of the prevailing security situation, all Indian nationals in Israel, especially those working in border areas, are advised to relocate to safer areas. Patnibin Maxwell from Kolam in Kerala was killed in the attack. He had arrived in Israel just two months ago and leaves behind a five-year-old daughter and a pregnant wife. France has become the only country to explicitly guarantee abortion as a constitutional right. A French lawmakers on a 4th of March overwhelmingly approved a bill to enshrine abortion rights in France's constitution, making it the only country to explicitly guarantee a woman's right to voluntarily terminate her pregnancy. Uh, the historic move was proposed by President Emmanuel Macron as a way of pre to prevent the kind of rollback of abortion rights that was seen in the United States in 2022. And the vote during a special joint session of parliament drew a long-standing ovation among the lawmakers.
Now, today is Super Tuesday in the United States, one of the busiest days in the U.S. election calendar. Millions of Americans are expected to vote simultaneously in the U.S. presidential primary cycle today. It's a big, big day in the U.S. elections, especially in the primaries. As I remember, uh, the candidates for both parties have to be chosen and uh, 15 U.S. states will be voting on Super Tuesday. Our uh, one-third delegate votes are up for grabs. Now, as far as the Democrats go, uh, there's no contest for the U.S. Uh, President Biden. Uh, and remember, he is like running for re-election. But this is uh, the last chance for Nikki Haley to challenge Trump. Remember, she has been doing very badly in the primaries. But this is the last chance for Nikki Haley to challenge Trump. Remember, the U.S. court has also allowed uh, Donald Trump to stay on the Colorado uh, ballot. This after a court there had ruled against him, but the Supreme Court allowing him to stay on the ballot there. Now, former Twitter executive has sued uh, Elon Musk for over $128 million in severance. Sakshi Bajaj takes us through the highlights of the lawsuit filed by former top executives. Four former top executives of Twitter, or X as now known, including Parag Agawal, have sued Elon Musk for over $128 million in severance dues. While Parag Agawal is the former CEO, Ned Segal is the former CFO, Vijay Gare is the former chief legal officer and former general counsel of the company, Sean Edgett, have all sued Musk saying that they are entitled to a total of over $128 million in severance dues. The lawsuit filed in a federal court in San Francisco is the latest in a series of legal challenges the billionaire faces ever since he acquired the social media company for $44 billion in October 2022 and later renamed it as X. In the lawsuit, the former employees have hit out at Musk and claimed Musk doesn't pay his bills, believes the rules don't apply to him and uses his wealth and power to run roughshod over anyone who disagrees with him. The top executives have also claimed in the lawsuit that they were fired without any reason on the day Musk completed his acquisition of Twitter, which he later rebranded as X. All right, well, let's now get you news uh, from uh, Bengaluru with uh, the crisis of water shortage in the IT capital. Now, with the state-owned bore wells drying up and water tankers facing thirsty residents, the Karnataka government uh, today decided to take over private commercial bore wells, water tankers and even irrigation bore wells to quench the drinking water needs of Bengaluru and other parched parts of the state. The state government says there is enough reserves for drinking water, but it is bra bracing to quench a thirsty state in what seems like a tough and hot summer ahead. Pratibha with the details. <laughs> As the water shortage deepens in Bengaluru, the Karnataka government has now decided to take over private water tankers, commercial borewells and even irrigation wells. These water tankers have been supplying water sourced from borewells to different households in the city at exorbitant prices and the aim of taking them over is to ensure that water isn't just a rich person's luxury, says the government. In order to streamline this uh, water crisis, I'm just trying to take over. We will see that there will be an equal share of everything and they should not exploit uh, the situation. Cost of the 5,000 litre water tanker earlier stood at 500 rupees. It has now surged to 1,500 to 2,000 rupees. Over 4,000 tankers operate in the city. Around 14,000 borewells in Bengaluru and approximately 7,000 have dried up. 854 crore rupees issued to district officials, says CM Sidramaya. Another 70 crore rupees for new borewells wherever necessary. One the load gave 500 and now if I got one load gave more load water cast now could be got the 1500 2000 give away demand mad that 2000 they immediately birth are now 1500 other three four days wait mad beko either need in the problem heavy act that there the Bengaluru water supply board has mandated these private water tankers to register themselves on the municipal corporations portal so they can carry government certification while the government is planning to introduce a standard price, apartment complexes that are willing to pay the price are complaining of water shortage, with tankers 
being diverted. With camera persons Kumar and Govan, Satyavaraman in Bengaluru for NDTV. And with that, it's a wrap from me. Thanks so much for watching. News updates continue on NDTV.